Hey guys, we got a lot of stuff to do today. Let's get started. <clears throat> That's right, we got a ton to do. The weather hasn't been cooperating. Uh, it's been really cold at night and rainy and gross. We haven't got a whole lot done. Our first market is in less than a week. And it's a good thing we got these two little helpers out here. What are you guys doing? Planting broccoli. Okay, girls, walk me through the process of what you're doing. Okay, so first we um, we make the hole with this thing. And then Jeffy just plants it. Put it in there and put my thumbs like that. And then we're done. So we're moving to the next one. Then. Oh, that didn't work. Then we empty it. Like that. We put the dirt that we put in the bucket right here in this low spot that is in the water line. What are you guys working on? We're just prepping this bed for some lattice starts. Now we're going to plant some romaine. What are you doing, Mommy? Getting Mother's Day boxes ready. I'm gonna plant the last one, and we're done. Okay, bye. <laughs> what are you guys working on now? We're up hunting marigolds. Awesome. To sell at the farmers market. Cool. You guys like selling things at the market? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Have any funny stories from the market? No. What do you like best about selling at market? Lemonade. Selling the lemonade? Selling the lemonade, yeah. What's the best part about it? Pouring it. Pouring Talk, it? Talking to people, actually. T talking to people. Hanging out. Being with family. Anything? Getting to know people. Seeing teachers. Seeing teachers. You're having to buy stuff at market? That's good for the community, is it? Can I have one? What about making money? <laughs> That's good too. <laughs> That's good too. That's not my favorite part, but that helps. It helps with garden stuff. It helps with buying more garden stuff, don't it? Yes. And selling more stuff. Or Getting ready or making helps, stuff. Uh, helps us feed more people. It, the it money that we make us. at the farmer's market helps us get more stuff, well, make, plant more stuff to sell at the next farmer's yeah, market. Exactly. <laughs> it helps us eat. I'm just going to unbound this root here just a little bit. Can I have one? Okay, I think I'll leave you guys to do them last couple. Don't forget to water them in. Well, that reminded me of that one time that 
um, we were leaving the house and you said, somebody's gonna steal our plants if you don't lock the door. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Something. <laughs> Something's gonna steal our plants if we don't lock the door. No. And, th and then I said, well, what about like the TV and the three computers? Now we're all done and we're gonna water them in. Let's get started. Again for a I'm done watering them. Now let's move on to something else. Now we're going to take a break for about two minutes. <laughs> okay, one of our goals that we had for this spring was to get this privacy slash uh, windscreen planted. And as you can see, we've come quite a long way. And if you look, we're just about complete. Everybody's got their job to do. I was digging the holes, Chloe and mom's planting, Sophie's spreading uh, wood chips around each plant. And here's the last one. All right, we're getting wrapped up. Sophie's the last one to get some, uh, she's gonna get some of these wood chips around these last couple, but that's it. Now these, these are Thuja Green Giant Arborvate plants. Trees. Now this last section here, we got from a local nursery slash landscape place. If you guys remember, we got the first section from a place down in Tennessee because they were way cheaper than buying them from a big box store. This first section here, they came in three gallon pots. And we got them for at least half the price of what a big box store cost. These ones here were in a smaller one gallon size and they were local to us, so that's a win-win. And they were way cheaper. Once again, they're probably about half the price that uh, you pay at, a big, pay at a big box store. And I think they're only about a year behind the other ones. And in a couple years, you won't even notice the difference. All right, we'll take the extra little bit of dirt clods from the top. We're going to put them over in that little swampy area right there. Probably won't do any good, but every little bit helps. And, of course, it's starting to rain while we're out here trying to gather everything up and be nice and neat. Megan's taking off all the tags so they don't end up all over the yard when they fall off there. All right, not a whole lot going on today. It's starting to really rain now, so I think we're just gonna wrap it up. It started to sprinkle earlier, and uh, it looked like one of them ones that was just gonna pass over, but I think this one's gonna hang for a while. And these, uh, hard to do one-handed. Them things is stuck in the ground. Oh, I got a big cloud of dirt. All right, I think we're going to call it for the work that's outside today because uh, it's raining for reals. Straighten up the last few things, and then we're going to head inside. I got to get a new seed order ready. I got to work on some videos. Got to do some market planning and stuff. All right, we'll see you guys next time.